So, hi everybody, this is That Kind of Talk. I'm Bry, and we're here with the man himself, Neil. We're going yeah. to be talking about some more retro we, games. Well, what we're going to be talking about today, I would like to put forward, is why the hell we got getting any more ending games, like those online games. Why it got to be that repeater? It takes away all the fun out of the game, man. Yeah. And I want to know what what all they have to say about that because like this gaming thing is repeated. Every day you had to do this set of chores and do the whole thing over That's... and over here. Yeah, right? yeah. I don't know. It's like it gets boring after a while, and it's like every game will come out. It's the same thing. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the game is a money making thing. Yeah, so like everything is more about money more than the fun of the game. Now. Yeah, we will all lose the the yeah, part lost, of the game. Yeah, we lost in all the fun out of the taking out all the fun of the game just to make money. And these makers, all they focus on is just money. You know, gaming long time was fun. Yeah, because it was all about the game. Exactly. Uh, all about the game. It had no once you buy the game, that was it. It's yours until you end it and you decide to play it over and you just. <laughs> no, you're buying it and you had to continue to always buy an upgrade. You had to continue to always buy some kind of add-on. Some battle pass. Yeah, and yeah. But well, this battle <laughs> pass thing, that's the new thing I realized. That battle pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we want to really hear what, what people are saying about that. Because, to me, I don't enjoy any online game anymore. Yeah, it happens. Because, yeah, enjoy be, because of that money-making part, it takes away all the fun out of it. For real? Yeah. So, you know, I would really like... To get the comments about what people think about it. Yeah, well, obviously, as as gamers are watching, though, they will leave the comments and, yeah. and give us the, the, the feedback. One game I like to talk about that Elden Ring. Real well, like, nice concept behind that you, game. You like all oh, the all oh, right, 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 the Elden Ring. Yeah, that concept was real nice. For I enjoyed the gameplay for that, but the online part, I have bond that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was kind of shaky. Frustrating, man. Yeah, the, the online part was. It came after the, the game itself. They, they tried to add it in after, but. but they when, make it a little too complicated. When you start to play that game, the game is real, For real real fun. The big men, them really challenging, and you know, you have to use skills. For real. <laughs> yeah. You gotta try yeah, and get a spot where the big men can lash yeah, you and all kind of back and yeah, put on skills, but. All in all, just for street. I was enjoying the um the, the Elden Ring until I realized it didn't make any sense. For the You're playing for the next ten thousand years. Yeah, you understand? It's very, very long. You have to get very strong. You have to be a god to play the game. You have to get very strong in because order to take the men are like a hundred times your strength. You and you're bouncing them up a low level area. And they men that long like, from here. Yes, the that's telling you. And it's not moving. Exactly. <laughs> so you fighting and, and it's like you do no damage and one hit from them man it's all over mm -hmm. and you remember the items dropping already so you know <laughs> yeah so uh, in the Elden Ring the point uh, the um, Diablo style where when you're dead the items and all they all have on you dropping on the ground right where you're dead and you have to go back and pick it up and if you're dead try to pick it up <laughs> that's it that's it that's it, that's it. that was frustrating but Diablo I see I feel Diablo had that much more better than they did because in Diablo you never released the feel like. right because when that, I is, got, that is Diablo 2 we talked about yeah no it's still like in Diablo 2 Diablo was fun right right and all, 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 all of we played together there's a nice co-op as well yeah the co-op in that is but right now I'm playing the, the um, Diablo Immortal Right, that is the online one for the online while. Online. Like, I'm frustrating again, this is a repeated <laughs> thing. Tasks but and chores. But the nice thing about this one, they allow you, it doesn't have the limitations of, of, of you, you know, you're getting this. Um, that is when you're, you know, you're playing and, and you have to use a certain amount of stuff to, to, to get time online. And you have to do all, it's it's it, free to play. Yeah, you're free you to play. Need that. You don't need no, 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 um, no items to, to keep playing. And you have quests like immense among the quests. You could just yeah, I was seeing that. Well. Yeah, I think I that as well. right. there is no way, but real quest to play, and it, it is really fun. It, and they give it this interactive way. Characters actually speak it, right? And involved in the conversation too, now. Right. So that, that that is nice. That is nice. That, I like the concept behind it, but relatively online gaming things. 
Yeah, that makes it real hard. Really difficult to enjoy a game. You will start to enjoy it at the start, but as as soon as you start enjoying the game, or oh, oh, you, you, uh, you spend your money and you get strong. <laughs> yeah, but then it gets even more boring because yeah. when you spend your money and you get strong, you start to kill everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you still lose interest in the game after yes, that. Yes, and you, you still, you still have to go and go and go and go. You understand? Imagine game giving you choice to. <laughs> A popular one now is, is the Monopoly Go. Everybody playing that. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that, that come out really hot. And you know it, it's really fun to play, but it gets boring after a while the same way. When when you reach high up. Correct. Yeah. When and you then it starts to become able. so difficult to get to make it to get money and to get to build your um, skis. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's like millions yeah. just to walk one step. Yeah. And I know everything again is repeat. Right. It's only like when they bring a tournament or some kind of special event. But the prices to buy thing and my play Ridiculous to it. All new. You don't think it's up in Nah, but what the really hell? Really like, five dollars for like 50 rows or something, I think, and some other small thing. Like, crazy. You ain't seen five dollars, you ain't seen the 99.99 99 dollars and 99 cents, and it's like just for a few, a few dice rows. Yeah, and they're asking thing. for so much money. Wow. It's How all about like money, me? but it's all about money. It's all about money now. Not yeah. about the fun of the game. And so, Monopoly was a family game, eh? And the thing Board about it is, game. now it's competitive, yes, but it's still money dominated because mm-hmm. you have to have money in order to be able to enjoy the game. Else, your, your, your rules are done really quickly. And you have to beg all over the place. Yes, <laughs> and you ain't getting nothing. Stickers. You ain't getting nothing. These, these stickers are a nice aspect in it, but the real art to, to, to collect all of them stickers. Most of them games hard. and them know how to see it. It is not cards. It's that's like if you go and play a um, coin master. Right. Coin master is like that. Right. All those games kind of transcend from coin master. Because coin master is the one that like, everybody who plays games like that playing. Right. And that same Monopoly Go is the more or less a spin off of coin master. Like a, so like a, a, just a, a, just a, a more a, advanced. A, a different one. A yeah. Different, a different, different application. Coin yeah. A different application. A coin master is just like that. Be basic thing like attacking your neighbor and taking the, 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 the loot. Same and, thing. Same thing. <laughs> just, they just have it in a different, uh, different order, yeah. but it's the same thing. Honestly. So most of these games just give you this repeated kind of behavior. So all you're doing is just doing everything, the same thing every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. Come on, task. Yeah. And then, on, you know, and if you do that, they, they kind of want to give you incentives by giving you daily stuff and whatever not. But when you check it out, it's just repeated. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the regenerative rules again, like, well, for me, I get like what eight rules every hour or something like that. That's very really tough for me. Exactly. Very tough for me. Exactly. Hold so, on, why you have to wait for eight rules and that finishing in a second or two? One rule. One rule. <laughs> <laughs> One rule, man. One but rule. I feel to understand what we know in these people with this kind of repeated thing with all them games and them. And not even one person will find that game that is like. To play an adventure or even a good action game right. that has the storyline concept as well as the you're not getting anything like that. Yes, I like it can't be online. And if you have an online game, it's like men just waiting to happen. It's, it's true. There are a whole team of people with it. Like just, just waiting to happen an online game, so you can't have it. What what you was on the there's a real try with our was on. And men has always find some way to, to have a game, yeah. Right. Now we understand that are the pain on the game. See, yeah. that, 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 so in a sense, you can't give you a command too much of a dumb. Because to me, paying that money is a hack. Mm-hmm. Because you are getting perks that are way beyond what anybody else is accessible yeah, 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 yeah. to. Or if they're accessible to that, you have to pay for a million years to play the game. You're making it real hard. Yeah. Why not allow everybody to play under the same level? Show by your skill. Where's this money thing? Find some other way. To get people to to, to to pay for what you're for what you're offering. Right. You understand? But instead, you're giving people perks and perks that are hey, hey, you can't kill them, man. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You can't kill them, man. And when them men spend the money and buy whatever, and game game and just get 
anti-social malaria. So, yeah, so. Um, um, in 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 our other experience, that 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 thing that um nostalgia will give me. I don't go. I don't go back to middle old games and man. No, man, no, man, what that? Nah, man. Men, graphics. Men, men like the graphics. Yeah. Now, it still have computer games where you can play computer games. Right. But I think probably fun out of some of those games. You understand? Because when you think about it, it's like they're always trying to limit you. Right. You understand? And I think, really and truly, Bring back the old school games, man. Bring it back with well, new graphics. Well, watch out um, the remake, the Final Fantasy VII, man. Then they bring out the next one next year. And then, well, next year they bring out a remake of the VII again. I think it's Rebirth or something is the name of it. So, but, but you know, well, you know, all Final Fantasy always a franchise, always cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 stances. But you know they like money too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they like money the same way. But they do allow you to play. Realize they they they, they, they doesn't take any fun out of their gaming. Right. Even though they allow you to play, because I see some of the games on them, they would allow you to get certain amount of fruits, but they don't make it get too strong. Right. You understand? So I think they try to hold pull it to a limit as to what you can. Right. You know, that, uh, when you when you purchase, you're not playing, you get too strong. But in most of those other games on them, you playing, you can get real strong. Mm. Like that same monopoly go, a man spend nine, nine like say hundred US and he going buy. Yeah, much thousands. Yeah, I think for the first for the first buy again, eighteen thousand euros. You know, you must pay a total. You might have dream to see eighteen thousand euros <laughs> as yeah. a free to play player. You might, you might, you might have to go without just take a pack of okay? fifteen thousand euros. Yeah, that'd be a dream. <laughs> yeah, that's a real dream. That's a real friend on Facebook. Yeah, plenty, yeah. plenty friends on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, the real trade. Yeah, yeah, don't need to really go out and trade real your bad, things. Real bad. Final Fantasy is a game to always to look forward to. For real. I would love to see the remake, the make of it, and I would love to play it as well. It has certain games I will play. Right. And it must not lose the essence of the game. And give me this repeat of playing that. And so I know that. I know we're not paying my money to one replay a game that has something doing over and over and every day. Now. Give me an adventure game or an action game where I can play through and Every day I have something going through and I enjoy the quest. You know, you, and, you, 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 um, you know you're making like progress. Yeah, yeah. Like we're not to do that. Like, yeah, that's a repetitive stuff. You know what I mean? There's no chores to do. Hmm. You understand? I have enough chores to do what I do. I do what well, I that, do. That, well, over the past year or so, it had a couple of like, remakes with the, um, the Mikova, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. If yeah. I'm mistaken. So the Mikova, the Part 3, the San Andreas, and the Vice City. And bring it out together. I, never, I didn't get to play it yet, but I saw the, the little reviews and things. And the do the graphics realize something and the the, the the same gameplay. But so, they, they, they didn't make it like an online. So no, online, no. The, uh, the, uh, the, the leave it. Leave it how it was. How it was. Awesome. Let's make it over. Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar, Rockstar does go all out. Right. I, I, I know why why you didn't try the Red Dead Red Redemption yet. Well, right. <laughs> so we we will be doing a, a small review of um fifteen video game remakes of all time, and uh, and just get a small insight as well. So oh, yeah. this, this should be good. Let me take a look. Remakes have always been big in the game industry, but they're continuing to get even bigger by the day. That is, of course, down to how much critical and commercial success they're now enjoying. Developers are routinely coming out with remakes and reimaginings of beloved classics that are being widely acclaimed as some of the best on. games of their years, and the value they bring in terms of both letting returning fans experience modernized versions of their favorite games and letting newcomers enjoy classics that they may have missed cannot be overstated. Given just how many excellent remakes we've played over the years, Picking out a few as the best of the best isn't exactly an easy task, but here, that's exactly what we've done. Join us as we take a look at what we feel are some of the greatest game remakes ever made. Number 16, Shadow of the Colossus 2018. Back in 2005, Sony delivered what is, to this day, considered one of the greatest games ever made in Shadow of the Colossus. And while its 2018 remake obviously didn't have the same impact, it certainly did justice to the source material. 
Blue Point Games smartly decided not to mess with the mooting formula too much, and instead, with its remake, decided to merely uh, accentuate the like about about this game and the polish up of its rough edges. For new on the screen, like veteran a fans alike, 2018 Shadow of the Colossus is an excellent way to experience this all-time classic. Hmm. I enjoy that game. Number 15, Demon Souls. Demon. I never played this. Merely a couple of good? years after releasing the aforementioned Shadow of the Colossus, Blue Point Games and Sony delivered yet another excellent remake in the form of PS5's launch title Demon Souls. Once again, the developers approached the From Software classic with great respect, choosing to keep the vast majority of the core experience intact and instead so, glowing so, up so its visuals and production values. The Souls-like genre has come a long way since it's made its debut with Demon Souls in 2009, but for those who want to go so back like to the beginning, the remake is an unmissable yeah, experience. Big yet, like, um, Number 14, like, like, Crash Bandicoot yeah. and Zane Trilogy. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot was essentially dead and buried okay, well, until not too long ago. But thankfully, Activision decided to resuscitate the franchise with a bang. Wow. Developed by Vicarious Visions, Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy perfectly encapsulated everything that the original PS1 trilogy was all about, capturing all of its highs and lows and wrapping them up in gorgeous modern-day visuals to demonstrate just why this iconic platform franchise took off the way it did. Number 13. Black Mesa. Like a half -life, like Starting that. as a fan-made unofficial remake of the original Half-Life, Crowbar Collective's oh, Black Mesa had an eventful journey behind the scenes, uh, but when it finally that launched that as an official that remake that with Val's that blessing that in 2020, really, yeah. it proved to be well worth the wait. From its new content additions to the smart ways in which it evolved the original game's mechanics, to, of course, the gorgeous visual glow-up it brought to the table. Black Mesa proved to be a worthy reimagining of one of the all-time greats. Number 12, Mafia Definitive Edition. I know this. The PC Mafia stuff. franchise has certainly been through yeah. the ringer over the years, and recent years like in particular have been tough on its fans. In 2020, however, yeah, we thankfully got a respite from the yeah. dearness thanks it to Mafia complete. Definitive Edition, and included a remake of the series' very was, first outing. Good. The original Mafia story and writing and its excellent period setting yeah, are yeah, still fondly so remembered as some like of its biggest it's strengths. <laughs> and all of that was able to shine that much brighter in the remake. Some of the gameplay and design choices felt a little aged, yeah, but for fans of the series in particular, it was a wonderful blast from the past. Number 11, The Legend of Zelda <laughs> Link's yeah, Awakening. Yeah. Despite being <laughs> a handheld big, only big, big, game, big, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening big, big, has big, always big, held a special yeah, place in the hearts of Zelda big, fans. Big, but so to say that its Switch remake proved to be more than up to the task of remaking it for the new generation is no small thing. The biggest change it made, of course, was to its visual style. And while the new no, set may initially have proved to be an almost jarring change, some, some, ultimately, some set, some it turned out to be the really perfect good. foil for the Link weird, looking. bizarre adventure yeah. that is Link's yeah, Awakening. No, Meanwhile, from its setting to its story to its world and dungeon design, the remake proved in more ways than one that the game's qualities truly are timeless. Okay, right. Number 10, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Not Much like with Crash Bandicoot, <laughs> no, Activision like, and Vicarious yeah, Vision brought yet another dead like and beloved franchise back it, into the it, limelight. It, it, it with the, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater the, the, 1 and 2, and it would be safe to say that the results were even more resoundingly successful. Though one might argue that the original Tony Hawk games were a product of their time, yeah, going yeah, back to their incredible tight and endless enjoyable was gameplay, popular. their ton of right. content, their pumping licensed soundtrack, and all of the visual upgrades that came with the remake only prove that the skateboarding masterpieces are just as great today as they were when they first launched. Number 9, Pokemon Fire Red slash Leaf Green. I see Game Freak playing loves this, uh, remaking Pokemon uh, Reds, and it's like been a fair few of them over the years, but real. it's fair to say that all but one, which we'll get to in a bit, have failed to match the brilliance of the uh, first uh, remaking uh, effort. Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green took players back to where it all started, uh -huh. bringing Kanto back to life on the Game Boy Advance with updated visuals and combat and progression mechanics. And the end result was absolutely glorious. It's been nearly two decades since the duo of remakes first launched. Nintendo used to but make it last catch of the Pokemon Game Boy and put it into the, the 64 and battle it. And Number battle. 8, Metroid right. Zero Mission. Metroid hey. Zero Mission presents <laughs> the definitive take on Samus Aran's original adventure, <laughs> remaking it so Samus comprehensively and so thoroughly modernizing it 
that it functionally renders the original game it entirely has some remakes for 64 after, I believe it. You never have to even consider playing the original, because everything it did, Zero Mission did as well, but better, while doing even more on top. Keeping the same basic map, enemies, plot progression, so and power this is but That's with new. modern game design Let's sensibilities and some better yeah. signposting for new players. <laughs> and adding a triumphant epilogue at the end that what? truly showed us how the story of Samus Aran began. Wow. Zero Mission remains a high watermark not just for the Metroid franchise, nah, no man, no but remakes in general. Thing, man, no man. Number 7. Yakuza Kiwami 2 Yakuza 2 <laughs> is a fan <laughs> favorite game for a lot that of reasons, including yes, characters such as Ryuji it's and Kaori is hilariously over-the-top but epic set pieces such as Golden Castle bustling from the underground into the streets of Osaka, or an actual brawl with a tiger and the introduction of the fan favorite Sultan this game. It's a beloved real, game, real. and any remake yes. needed to treat it with the appropriate care. Yakuza. Kiwami 2 did a good job of that. Well, to say the very least. Nice While it was nowhere near as faithful to Yakuza 2 as the original yeah, Kiwami anyway. was to Yakuza 1, taking liberties with the story, music, and even content, it nonetheless delivered an exceptional outing for the Yakuza franchise that ranks as one of the franchise's highs. Number 6. Resident Evil <laughs> 2002. <laughs> awesome game. The folks at Capcom are the masters of remakes. I wouldn't say the remake in the game, but I'm bringing out new ones that I should When the, the Japanese consistent. company released I a ground up remake cool. of the original Resident Evil right. for the GameCube. Even though the original RE1 was game barely game. six years old at that point, okay. the remake felt like a ridiculous joke. Uh, it's in large part to astoundingly gorgeous okay. visuals that somehow still the, managed um, to hold up to the set. The RE1 remake also added the significant PS4 portions of new content to the original Lord. game that enriched the experience in ways that you couldn't have imagined. Right From new the, areas right to story the, additions to, and of course, the, Lisa in Trevor. In the, 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 the fact that the remake is still widely was, held up as one of the best survival I, I, horror I, I, remakes I, I, of all I, I, time I, 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 should tell you all that you need to know about how I, I, good the I, I, game was. Number 5. Final Fantasy VII Remake <laughs> awesome. Final Fantasy VII Remake boasts incredible visuals and spectacular combat as players can use a wide range of actions by simply pausing the game and use various attacks. The playable characters have been intricately detailed, along with amazing lighting, particle effects, and attention to detail in environments. In short, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks gorgeous. There are a few low-resolution textures here and there, but sometimes it's hard to believe that this was running on the PlayStation 4 all the way back then. Number Dead 4, Space, right? Dead Space 2023. I might thought looking to There was a long period uh, of time thing. where it looked like there was no hope whatsoever so that the Dead Space nice franchise would be able to come back as, to as, life. That is the most recent remake always, of the 2008 original. That's exactly that is what it's done, and, and how. The Dead Space remake, remake is, in a word, spectacular. A standard bearer not only for how to remake a beloved classic, but also for survival horror games as a whole. Mm -hmm. The psychological horror, the nightmares that the decrepit Ishimura hides around every corner, the gripping story and the way it unfolds, the brutal and visceral combat, and how incredibly <laughs> enjoyable it remains from that, start to finish. That, that, Everything that, that, that can, was true about Dead Space tournament. back when it came out what is still true in its 2023 remake, but it's even so more good. potent and even more effective. Number 3. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Mm -hmm. With its pacing and its combat and the sheer constant tension that pervades every second of the experience, Resident Evil 4 Remake will keep even the most hardened of veterans on their toes. Resident Evil 4 Remake is more about the tension than actual scares, and it does that by providing the player with overwhelming challenges. Exploration feels satisfying, and backtracking never feels like a waste of time. The progression mechanics feel satisfying too, with really each new weapon upgrade the feeling the important. Tree, Number 2. Pokemon Heart Gold slash Soul Silver. Game Freak and Pokemon both peaked with Pokemon no, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The original <laughs> games, Gold and Silver, were already considered the best installments of the franchise and some of the best RPGs ever made. So to actually take those games and somehow make them even better was an astounding achievement. By and large, Heart Gold and Soul Silver were very like faithful my, my to the Mario original games, but Mario smart visual and mechanical like changes made them feel much more modern, <laughs> allowing yeah, yeah, the timeless Master design of this densely packed nah, experience nah, 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 to shine Master. that much brighter. With a combination of next to no cuts, plentiful improvements, and the core excellence of the originals brought over as is, Heart Gold and Soul Silver instantly cemented themselves as Pokemon's best outings, a crown 
many might say they still hold to this day. Number one, Resident Evil 2, 2019. I play in this one. For this our one money, in 2019's Resident Evil 2 is nice, nice, the absolute nice. king of remakes, remake. which, given the launch the company so keeps in this list, it's two. huge praise. The jump from the original to Evil 2 to its remake is absolutely right. massive. But even going from fixed cameras and tank controls to over-the-shoulder and third-person shooting, the remake still manages to perfectly capture the essence of the original. Hell, it even enhances it. The gorgeous visuals, the stellar level design exhibited throughout the entire game, and in RPD in particular. The excellent boss fights, the implementation of Mr. X, all of it combines to make for a survival horror oh. experience for the ages. The change that the RE2 remake makes are admittedly pretty radical ones. And while some might bemoan the loss of, say, the zapping system, ultimately they all contribute significantly to giving the game its own identity. So that the remake is able to stand alongside the original rather than either replacing it or being overshadowed by it. For fans of RE2 in particular, that one is a massive achievement that cannot be overlooked. Uh, so, so that was um, some popular games from, from the past that they did, some modern remakes. So, so it has some nice ones like, like the, um, the Zelda. That, 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 that looked decent, man. What, 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 what time was impressed with this? Or was it if Resident you ever Evil played 2. Resident Evil 2 back then, right. you're going get, to get to play Resident Evil 2 like that with the same type of gameplay. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, boy. Graphics wise, yeah, I, no think. Sure. I think I'm going to be getting, I'm gonna be installing that later. Oh, well, <laughs> the part 2? Yeah. The one, the no, one that's I... the remake. That's the remake, right? Remake. I ended part, part 2 back then. Right. I was in PS2. Right. Now, PC is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, but I knew that remake is a couple of years old. Is, Mm. Something like almost three to four years old. It could be five years old. Eh? Yeah, five it, years it old. could be about five years old. Mm. But still, with with with, with that play, man. The, the one I play is the, in a, a a prison or some kind of thing, and they're trying to work their way out of the prison. So yeah, thanks for um for tuning in. Make sure and comment below. Um, subscribe the um the like button, and let's. Who's the channel?